I grew up with streetcars running in my backyard, literally. Very well, they took the streetcars away from us. People's lives revolved around the streetcar. They took the streetcar to work, to go to school, to uh, go to the movies, go shopping. Yeah, they were all over the place. There were more streetcar lines in Pennsylvania than any other state. Started out with three trolleys in uh, 1954, and now we have 50. We're a museum that's community supported. We have different foundations and companies that donate funds to us and services, but really the volunteers are what make it go. Got started because I was looking for something to do when I retired and uh, came out here for a, on a visit and decided I liked it. Well, you know, we've gotten a lot of good new help that uh, is here working with us now. I enjoy the thought process behind the whole museum and it's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to work on old equipment and to learn to work with folks such as Jim, Lynn, all the rest of the, the folks. It's, it's, it's really fun. It's not just the equipment, it's the people also. And, and the people even more so. Without people, none of this would have any meaning. It's the enjoyment of interactivity among all the people who volunteer down here. Ever since I was in diapers, literally, I used to push a lawnmower up and down the streets in North Brattle, pretending it was the steel wheels of a trolley. I used to miss the school bus going to grade school. Riding the old 65E bus up the hill, Mr. Henry was one of the old-time drivers, but let me open and close the doors. My folks brought me out here as a visitor, and I said, wow, this is really neat, okay? And started coming out here to the museum to volunteer, and it just took off from that point. Uh, in real life, I write software. I sit at a desk uh, on weekends. I get outside, I do stuff outside. Um, just good exercise, and uh, at the end of the day, you get something done. I got a present one Christmas in 2004, a membership in the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum, and in it had a coupon to learn to operate a trolley. It took trolley operators lessons, and I've been involved ever since. If you were coming here and you started operating a trolley, you would be like, I have to do this every week. Not too many places can you go off and operate a 100-year-old streetcar. We are recognized as one of the top trolley museums in the United States, right, right in our backyard. When I was a little kid, my dad and I used to ride to the, uh, or we used to go to Pittsburgh to ride the, the T all the time just for fun. We got out there, the motorman let me sit in the seat, flip all the switches and ring the bell and blow the horn. Pretty much a nine-year-old's dream come true. And 21 years later, here we are at the Trolley Museum and this is actually that car that I got to have that experience on. So this is the big thing that attracted me here. And, uh, I just made good friends here and we have a good time and you know, we do, uh, I, I get a feeling of satisfaction. We need more volunteers of all types, so uh, come on out and volunteer.